Good afternoon. This is Fatan Anwal, and I'll be reporting for you on the latest update news from Palestine. Today, we join also the non-stop and ongoing uh, demonstration on the confrontation point in all of the West Bank. A bloody day was it yesterday. Today, three families buried their children after being shot dead by Israeli soldiers on the checkpoint. On this checkpoint, exactly, where I'm standing right now, we saw with our bare eyes three Palestinians being shot dead by snipers on top of the hill. By snipers on top of the hill. <laughs> on top of the hill. The death toll of Palestinians in the West Bank reached to 26 Palestinians. Three of them was buried today. One of them in Hebron. Until now, the Israeli soldiers and the Israeli government is still holding into his body. An hour ago, a Palestinian woman near Kiryat Arba checkpoint or settlement, illegal settlement in Hebron, was shot dead by a settler who is well known of being a radical settler who held his gun, though she was dead on the ground and kept shooting on her. Palestinian Authority until now are calling over international um, uh, legal side to put an end to the Israeli aggression in Palestine. Uh, the head of uh, Palestinian Authority, Mahmoud Abbas, described what's going on in Palestine here as a state criminal war against Palestinians in Gaza. Situation in Gaza, bombs didn't start, didn't stop all night until this morning. Several people, dozens of people were killed, including one journalist in Gaza. In here, the situation are going between up and down, calm and crazy. At this checkpoint, we witnessed yesterday during the general strike uh, that went in the West Bank and in the occupied land in 48 and also in Gaza, we witnessed an unbe unbelievable use of massive shooting towards civilians. At that checkpoint, there was like civilian families, like a whole family with children and women marched into the checkpoint to show their anger toward the aggression attack on Gaza, asking the international community to put an end to this unequal fight between Palestinians and Israelis. Dr. Hanan Ashrawi said that we are the only country that is demanded to protect the occupier. And today, in a statement that Netanyahu gave, he said Israeli forces cannot stop the collateral damage of Palestinian death in Gaza. That means all the children and women who lost their life during the airstrikes on civilians in Gaza. I'm here at Beit Il settlement. It's an illegal settlement based in the heart of Ramallah. And Ramallah is the economical life or the economical center of the West Bank. And on the other side, we can see demonstrators coming here to still show their anger. Toward what's happening in Gaza. For people who were with us yesterday, they saw that this road was blocked. Now we can see the road is open. Palestinians manage to cross the road. And for you who just joined us, This is Beit Il checkpoint. And on top of the hill, you can see a military base of Israeli soldiers who were yesterday catching demonstrators or shooting them as if they're shooting ducks. And we saw on top of the hill two Palestinian, two Israeli soldiers getting shot by one round of crossfire between Palestinians and Israelis. The bloody day that was yesterday came today as a little bit calmer. The demonstration started from 11 o'clock in the morning and went on until 12 o'clock at night. More than 500 Palestinians were injured. Dozens of them, or most of them, were hit with life ammunition in the head and the chest. And let me explain a little bit 
of the geography of this place. When Palestinian demonstrators start putting the rocks on the road, that means a message that things are going to get worse, that clashes is going to start. This road takes you to more than 35 other cities around the West Bank. If Israeli army decide to close that checkpoint, that means all the people are blocked from going in and out. If we take a deeper look over here, you can see the sniper pointing his gun toward Palestinians right next to the red the, to the yellow block and this is technically how the difference of power is is held between Palestinians and Israeli and this is how exactly the number of Palestinians that raged to 500, 5,000 Palestinians who were shot badly in critical condition in the head and in the chest and barely any of them in the beginning of the demonstrations. In the knee, in a system called by the Israeli forces, shoot to cripple. Shoot to cripple is a way that Israel hit the knee to bring a generation of crippled Palestinians. And according to the Israeli forces, and a lot of a statement that we see on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, they say that they're doing this. They're killing more Palestinians. They're killing more Palestinians, so they will not grow up and kill them. And they, they like, they're proud of saying it, officially saying it. The war taken on Palestinians is not just a war on the ground. Ever since the latest uprise, Palestinians in here or out road are facing an electronic war against them on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat, and TikTok. The Palestinian content is being hidden by social media platform and we have a lot of censorship going on and everything that you put on facebook my account on facebook was banned i cannot go live on my facebook every single post that you put on facebook they just cover it with sensitive scene but when it comes to an israeli killing a palestinian or attacking a palestinian it was it, we, you cannot see this over there Yesterday, we tried to go on live so many times, but then the internet was jammed. Like they did put equipment to jam the internet. So all the thousand protesters, journalists, everyone could not go on a live shot to cover what's going in, what was going on in here. It was a chaos. It was a chaos yesterday. And let me add another, another thing during the night, like, if you think demonstration during the day is the only aggression that Israel is performing against Palestinians, let's say about the Israeli arresting raid at night. 1,800 Palestinians was arrested during the last 10 days. This is the highest number of this system of arresting Palestinian people from 2015. This is the highest number of the arresting system that Israel is applying on the ground. And anyone can be, according to the Israeli law, anyone can be a terrorist. Every single one on this checkpoint now, the forces, the Israeli forces on top of the hill, they have a picture of them. They have the full title and name of them. They know where they live. And now he's under the threat of being arrested arrested and spending years and years in jail. And still, Palestinians are still coming to the demonstration point. Like you can see, 
the variety of people, which is also a variety of people that we haven't seen in a very, very long time. We see women coming with their daughters, with their kids to the checkpoint. And the point is that while interviewing all, all the families yesterday, asking them, why do you get them to a dangerous point like this? And the answer was, because I want them to know that what's happening in Gaza is what might happen to them. I want them to be emotionally ready to all the aggression that can be held against those kids. Imagine raising your kid on a base of emotionally being ready to be abused or to be under attack. What's normal for people all around the world is not normal for people in Palestine. Going to the beach is not granted. Going for a trip, a riot trip is not granted. Going to have fun with your friends is not granted because you can never know when things will twist upside down. Yesterday we were here, it was a peaceful demonstration. Thousands and thousands of Palestinians were, took part of this demonstration and then suddenly things escalated when soldiers cracked down into the demonstration using life and ammunition, though there were kids and women in this demonstration. Like they were standing all over the place. And this is the reality of Palestinians over here. Now, those people are going back. Now they have to look for another route to go back to their home. And anger is rising up from this comparison of Hamas. That Hamas is the reason why Palestinians are suffering, why Palestinians are going through what they're going through. But then there's another debate saying that the Israeli occupation is older than Hamas. And people were killed and land was confiscated. And it doesn't make sense that Hamas rockets is the reason for all this aggression being held against Palestinians. So the latest news, uh, things are calm. Uh, uh, things are calm. And, uh, we'll get back to you on more updates. Make sure to keep an eye on Middle East Eye and follow us for more update news coming from Palestine. That was Fatima Alwan reporting from Beit Il. Have a great day.